Porsche 986 Boxster. Uh, I have a feeling I found my AC on the The condenser in the front. Looks like what happened. Sorry, the engine is running and the fan. All this road crud got stuck up in behind the road. The port got held by a rock. Replacing the condenser, and I will uh, show you that when I replace it. It's uh, just a couple of bolts and a couple of bolts. to keep from compressing nothing. Um, oddly enough, the compressor on the boxer comes on whether or not the... Uh, I guess there's no pressure switch in line in these. There should be an air conditioning compressor pressure switch to turn, allow the compressor to turn on, but apparently this one doesn't have one. But as you can see, that would be it. I think I'm going to do this while I'm out here. Um, there's still a bit of pressure in the system, so I'm going to let that bleed out. You can hear it still hissing. There's still a bit of pressure in there. Um, undoing these two, there's a six millimeter Allen key right here. These two bolts are two six millimeters. And they go into this union block um, that joins into the, uh, the condenser. Um, but this is all aluminum, so if you start torquing on these, this is going to twist. So I'm just using a... Well, you can just use an adjustable wrench. I'm using a, ugh, what is this? 13 sixteenths SAE wrench. So I'm just gonna use that to hold it and keep it from torquing as I undo the two bolts. I'm gonna uh, release the pressure in that and then undo these two bolts and we'll be back in one second to remove it. Okay, something I don't recommend, but I'm gonna go full danger mode here. I think there's a little pressure left in the system. I can hear it, I can hear it hissing a little bit. Um, if you want to release the pressure, you can just go up. I'll show you where. Uh, I need a rag for this, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not going to grab a rag. Uh, high pressure. It's got the black cap on it. Is it the blue cap? Anyways, the big one. Small one is the one where you fill from. Let's unhook that. And see, it's like a bicycle valve, like a Schrader valve. If you push down on it, that will release the pressure. It's probably going to blast off my hand. Usually, if you're going to do that, <laughs> put a rag in there because the oil and uh, all the refrigerant is going to blast out all over you. So put a rag on there, and then that's how you can release the pressure. If you have to, mm -hmm. not supposed to be releasing it into the atmosphere. I know, I don't know nothing. I didn't see a thing. Um, not guilty. Anyway, the pressure is basically out of there. I'm going to wait till it's all out, then I'll take this off back in a sec. I was going to just go commando and take that off, but I don't want this crap in my eyes. So okay, so all the pressure is released. And again, I used the six mil and released, loosen both those bolts. There might be a tiny bit of spitting going on here still, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, play a little bit. I did push on the Schrader valve and there was nothing coming out there. So anyway, these two bolts. I'll loosen them. There should be a gasket. A little rubber washer, a round rubber washer in there. Should be. We'll find out in two seconds. That's your horn. <laughs> One of them. The second one's behind it. Okay, bolts. Okay, there's the rubber washer o ring. If you need to replace that, green is the color. Go to a place 
that supplies most small towns, large towns, all towns have a place that supplies gaskets, rubber washers, and that kind of stuff. Tell, bring this in and they will match it up. They will give you a green one, which will uh, resist the corrosive effects or whatever it is of coolant compressor oil and all the goo that's in there. Red is usually for high heat, black is normal, regular stuff. Same as on water heating equipment. And blah, 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 blah. There should be one in here too. Sorry, I rant. <laughs> I can't just shut up. Okay, ooh, there's a red one. So one, bottom one's red. Ooh, yeah, top one's green. Interesting. Something good to remember. So anyway, uh, this just is a couple of, what size was I using? Oh, they're not on very tight. So you can actually use, I use a Torx T25 second. and I've just got this little electric screwdriver that I use for wimpy stuff around the car when you don't want to put any torque on things that are bolting into plastic. If you use a, a drill or an impact drill, you could kill them. So these cheapo, as long as they're lithium, Little hand ah, screwdrivers are great for trim pieces inside your car. Phillips head screws and stuff. Oh, did I just break this thing? <laughs> What's going on? There we go. So those two bolts. And then in the back there's a clip. Uh, I gotta get a flathead screwdriver one second. Actually, I don't think I do need a screwdriver for this. I thought these clips were also holding the condenser, but it doesn't appear they are. It looks like it's just that little tab there. And I don't see anything holding it on. It looks like it's just pushed. Look at the crud back in there. Yeah, it just looks like it slips through. I don't see any way of it clipping or unclipping. So it must just pull out. Which it does. Ho ho ho! Well now, that looks efficient. Nice. And this is all oil from... Well, I'm gonna have to blast that out with compressed air. There's not a nest in there, is there? I don't think so. I do not think so. Anyway, that's about it for removing the condenser. One per side. Same thing on both sides. Um, I didn't show you removing the little rubber shield or the bumper. There's a zillion, uh, zillion, probably five um, videos on YouTube removing the bumper follow one of those pretty simple um, this is the little rubber it is rubber um, air catcher <laughs> deflector surround uh, and it's merely uh, I think let me see one two three four five again t25 bolts uh, holding that in there's two on the inner and then you make sure to slip your air your exterior air temperature sensor which is that little dangly bit there at the front little black bit, dangly bit just it's uh, a little rubber grommet pop it out and uh, let it dangle there and that comes off so here's our part number Ooh. How can wiping it make it dirtier? Oh, that's just nice. <laughs> I wiped the freaking number off. Okay, well, who cares? i uh, got to order a new one and put it on. Hopefully I will get this on tomorrow. I don't know if this little deflector here, this little plastic deflector, don't chuck this sucker. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. It's like an air scoop. Uh, it helps seal that box around the condenser. I'm doubting the new one comes with it. It's got a little clip that you just push in and, and push down. See the little clips? And uh, I would take that off and keep that because I doubt the new one comes with those. Pretty much guarantee it. And again, uh, new rubber O-ring seals. So um, I am 
<laughs> Done for the night. I'm not driving my car. Oh, I could drive it like this, I guess. People would just go, what the hell? Anyway, uh, thank you for watching.